Today, we're going to take a look at the Field Service Lightning mobile application for service appointments, as well as product requests, transfers, and shipping information. So today, we can see that you know it's Monday, September 20th, and I am going to click on the service appointment that I've got coming up. So from here, I can get a good understanding of the location, the ETA destination. I'm over here in Washington, DC, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to get out there. Um, my, my, my primary contact, their information, as well as the service history of this contact at this account, any work order line items, and even the ability to create a service report and get signature for that. But I've got a few other service appointments coming up that I don't have the products for. So I'm going to put in a service request. So I put in PR3 service request, but I haven't added any products. So let's add those products right now. So we'll click the plus. I'm going to add two connector cables each and then click save and then we'll add one additional piece here so we will add an energy meter we need two of those as well each and then save and so we put in those request line items but a great handy trick to use is to actually use the quick action shipping information so i will put in jane austen Expected delivery date should be Tuesday at 545. Tracking number, we'll just put a tracking number there. We can also scan as well. And then the tracking URL, we'll leave that blank. And so if we come over to related, what this should do for us, and if we just give it one second, is without having to create two transfers, it already did that for me because I put in that shipment information. So with this product request, I have two product request line items. I have two product transfers. So it'll transfer from you know, the warehouse to my location and then that shipment information.